Today's video is a double whammy and you don't want to miss it. Now you can see this calligraphy design process later, but first we are going to use this actual calligraphy design to demonstrate some really handy and useful things about pattern making in Adobe Illustrator. This might be something you've completely missed in terms of Illustrator as a program. And today's video is a collab with an awesome calligraphy style artist, Angelo. And you can learn more about him later in today's video, as well as learn about his design process. So here we have some calligraphy and we can actually come up to object, pattern and make to get things started. Illustrator is going to give you a preview of what the pattern is going to look like. And I can actually zoom in or out by holding down the alt option key and then scrolling my mouse. We are going to look more in depth at this later in the video, but first let's look at the tile arrangement here on your design. So maybe you want to stack things neatly or you can either stagger things as the example here. Now below that you can change the dimensions of your pattern. I want to bring them a little bit closer together and so adjusting these numbers manually is a pretty easy thing to do. Now if you click the size tile box, Illustrator is going to arrange your design in a manner like this and then below that again we can adjust the number of repetitions on your design both vertically and horizontally. Now this won't make a difference for our design today as you will soon see. What you can see on screen now is just a preview of what things could look like when you come to use a pattern. It's not an actual design as of yet. So when you're ready you can attach a name to your pattern which will come in handy and then just click done at the very top. So how do we make a great use of our pattern? There are quite a few cool things you can do with a pattern in Illustrator, but first let's make a rectangle with the rectangle tool, the shortcut being M on your keyboard. So with the shape still selected, come into the swatches panel and you should be able to see your pattern in a small square swatch icon. Now clicking that is going to apply the pattern to your shape like so, but we obviously want to be able to adjust things, I'm pretty sure, right? So with it still selected, come into the transform window. If we have the transform pattern and also the object box selected, when you go to rescale things like so, both the outer box and also your pattern will be adjusted. But let's go ahead and turn off the transform box option. So now the pattern will scale within your shape itself. And this means our pattern can be as large or as small as possible. And on top of that, we can even come into the rotate option in the transform window. And in a similar fashion, we can rotate the pattern within the shape parameter. So remember, if you want to catch a glimpse of the design process making this calligraphy, head over to Angelo's channel linked down in the description box below. He really does make some truly unique and some outstanding work while working with calligraphy or just typography in general. So if you are somebody who loves typography or calligraphy design, head over to his channel, check out some videos and give him a subscribe, courteous of Satori. But also if you want to learn something else today, do check out some more videos by myself. And until next time guys, it's on your future today. Peace.